Bear, you coming in here? Come on, Bear. Bear, come on. Good evening, everybody. That's right, we're back. If you had any uh, presence in my Discord, you would know this had been coming for a little while. Um, long time coming. Longer than I would have wanted to. But... Shit happens, right? Um, give me just a minute. Still getting set up. I got myself a couple of drinks. A couple meaning, uh, you know... Uh, water and tea and not hot tea sweet tea give me one second through don't know how long i'll be on tonight uh at least a couple hours because we'll just we're just gonna be playing it by ear you know what i mean i'm getting distracted by things on my desk um bonus So, is my creator dash twitches being weird? Gucci. All right. Um, oh, wow. There's one more. Quick action. I don't like this. this uh, whatever. <laughs> I haven't been on the Twitch dashboard in a long time. And they changed the... Um, quick actions. So now they're just... They're, they're icons and I have to hover over them. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. I mean, that's that's kind of the preamble that I have going. I don't I don't have anything else I need to set up. So we're gonna get into it. Um, we're playing Star Fox Adventures. Game 130 out of the 500 and some odd. I think 550 the last time I counted. Uh, GameCube games, North American. So we're trucking right back along. We're resuming the streams. Right back on it. If you're tuning in and you're thinking, man, I don't really want to watch Star Fox Adventures. I want something newer. Tune in Thursday. We're going to be doing uh, Hi-Fi Rush. So, forward to that. But I encourage you to stick around for tonight's stream. Without further ado, let's go into it. Also, some games, I remember, have a widescreen function that I've been that I've not been utilizing. So, we're going to do that. So I, my my experience with this game, played the fuck out of it when I was a kid. Absolutely loved it. Um, could not get enough of it. I love, I loved and still love Legend of Zelda games. I had no idea. Oh here, here, here. 
from the depths of space, a girl named Crystal searches for the truth of her parents' death. Finding herself within a lost corner of the Lila, I couldn't read it. Riffy! How's it going, man? The language in this game is so fascinating. I, I'm, I have more to say, but I'm just letting the thing, the cutscene play out. So, the lang the, the the dinosaur language in this game is actually like a cipher of English, like a Caesar cipher of English. The uh, except for every letter, except for I think the letter I, has been like shifted down a few letters. Um. Uh, barring, I think I think the vowels are separate from the consonants, so things don't get too fucky. I think I don't know. It's been a long time since I've read up about it. Um, but it was really, it's it's kind of fun. There's not many games that try to do anything like that. Um, at least not like mainstream. I'm sure there's some indies that try. Could also just be talking out my ass, as I normally do. Hey, thanks, Riffy. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Playing FIFA? You should be sorry. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, who, who are you playing as? As if I would know any of their names or any any player stats or anything like that. Uh, I don't dislike uh, football or uh, soccer, you know, but I just don't watch it. I, I found myself really liking rugby, which I know I only bring up because a lot of people compare the two sports, right? I know they're not the same sport. They have a lot of similarities, but they're different, right? But I liked it. I watched it. I, I like found myself watching rugby for an extended period of time one day, and I'm like, wait, this is actually kind of fun to watch. But I digress. Back to FIFA. Who are you playing as? Yeah, let me look up about the dinosaur language. Your adventure begins. Crystal around the galleon, L the center of the camera behind Crystal. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear, hear a voice. Pro clubs, which create your own thingy. Oh, okay, all right. Do you like have to create a whole roster of custom characters, or can you select from like existing characters, like fantasy football style? Um, so the the Dino language is called Saurian. Um, and it uh, uses the same written runes as the language used by most other denizens of Lilat system, except with simple letter, simple letter substitution. Consonants are always replaced by consonants and vowels alter into vowels. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, so I was right about that. Um, the letter M stays the same, so uh, I does not stay the same. It's, it was M. I was, uh, I was mistaken. Which makes more sense, I suppose. I think M is like in the middle of the alphabet, right? When it appears, check the play, let's play what he Yeah. Context clue. Context sensitive. What? Creates the rest of your team for you and just create your player kit fast. Oh, okay. That's a little easier, I think, than uh, creating a whole entire new team, right? So, like... 
I forgot how much like Zelda this game is. It's such a weird inventory system. You see the, it's cool that you don't have to pause to use the <laughs> this, this always made me laugh. Because he's introducing himself. He just starts the conversation with his name, not I'm General Scales. He just... <laughs> it's such a weird way to start a conversation. <laughs> For 2002, that is. <laughs> And then, of course, pronouns are not changed. <laughs> or proper nouns? Yeah, proper. Names. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. I have potato brain right now. I can't trade. Arrived in the Brazil Palace. If you want to save your game, you must use have a memory card. Yep, about that. Game to play, save a bit, have it quite often the moving, left, right, but wow. Detailed. Very detailed uh, tutorial on how to save a game. You've subscribed for 25 months, currently on a 24 month streak. Wow, Neko, thank you so much for your continuing. I feel yeah. old and I blame you. <laughs> Don't blame me for making you aware of time. It is natural order. Do I have to talk to this thing? He Garth Walker sent us to attack the Brazilian Palace. It's not safe. You find yourself in danger. Press X to roll out of the way. Can I... Can I not attack them? Dinosaur reminds you of an old kid's cartoon? I can see that. Oh, this is where I used the bullet. Explosion. What you got, Neko? Get that backlit GBA that you've been working on, or I know that was a long time ago by now. Twitch said that the last time I had, oh, your dad got you an Xbox? Uh, what kind? Like the Series S or X, or like an old Xbox? Not dinosaur eggs come from the huge puck puck burst, shrub pop raid, tasty stack. Got that GB a long time ago. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> time is weird, man, because, like, I... Uh, Twitch told me the last time I'd streamed was November of 2022, which seems so fucking long ago. It wasn't really that long ago, but it was still a long time. And I'm uh, disappointed in myself that it's taken me this long to get back to the game. Okay, let's 
scales and shark bombing attack. Try to stop them from too many. If you look around before you enter an air. <laughs> oh, we tried to fight. I was dying. Here's the tutorial. Brought a great evil to the palace. Be extra safe, sneak around the corners, holding down L and moving sidestep. Really? This is like a sneak mode? Huh. Alright. I guess. Got a 360 from a school mark. Oh, cool. Probably got it pretty cheap then, didn't you? I discovered the other day, speaking of Xbox, didn't mean to do that. Speaking of like Xbox, I'm thinking of original Xbox right now. Um, I discovered that on Xbox Game Pass, Link's the Time Cat is available. Made me want to play it. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that game or not, but Dad bought it, but you think it was that is a really good price for an Xbox 360. Especially depending on what model it is. The name, sorry, I had to do a lot. Uh, Blinks, Blinks the Time Cat. B L I N X. I don't know if it was under a different name in, in other countries, but yeah. I loved that game. Gales attacks the palace so that he could capture the Chrysalis and his belt. Here's a great power and have been safe within the palace. Fought hard against the sharp paw. And we're able to hide the spirits throughout the planet. Skills that unleashed an evil into the palace. Hurry to leave. Sharp claw sealed the inside. You, shot, you saw Nitro Rad review it? I'm familiar with Nitro Rad's content. I know he exists. I'm familiar with him tangentially. Is that the right word? But, um,. Never, never bothered to watch any of his videos. Heard good things, though. That's not worth it. For that, I don't have my staff yet, so I can't... can't properly attack things. Pick one of these up. Or is it a dumble dang. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to run across with one of these barrels. I don't know. Light me on fire. Uh, not the new Zelda, did you get to try it? Oh yeah, I've been playing the fuck out of it. Okay. New staples? Okay. Ah, yeah, they, you just leave the door open for a while. I just closed the door for your sake. Okay. Okay. Just finished the water temple? No spoilers. I've gotten through, like, none of the story, and I don't know what temples there are and where they're at. But just, uh, you know... Tread lightly. <laughs> I've been playing so much of it, though. I, I've gotten, like, I've been doing a very methodical um, playthrough of the game because I've I've gone through Central High Rule and Southern High Rule, where the, like the Great Plateau and everything is, and I've like cleared out the map. Like, I've found all the Koroks. Um, with the help of a guide here and there. What? What? What am I supposed to do? Okay, love you. Be safe. Uh, Neko and Neko and Riffy are here right now. Maybe a couple others and that aren't haven't said anything yet. I don't know. Yeah, lurkers. I'm not sure. Um. 
And then I've also scoured the depths as well, Neko. Like, I've gone down into the depths and, like, uncovered and searched through all of the depths that I can get to in, sub in uh, central and southern Hyrule. Um, so I've, I've been playing a lot of the game, and I've, and I've uncovered a lot of things. It's just I haven't done any story... And I haven't gone to any temples. Like I know, I know dungeons exist. I know dungeons exist. Uh, I know. I think I'm pretty sure I know where one is. Um. But I, uh, I haven't done any of them, and I haven't really done any side quests or main. But oh no, I've done I've done a few side quests, but I haven't done any main quests. Um. Have I, have I killed one of the big guys? I've killed several, several big guys. I've killed the Prox. I've killed um, some Taluses, some Hinox. I tried to fight a Gleok that was in the that was in the Colosseum, but I got my ass handed to me three ways from Sunday. So I said fuck that and never didn't manage to kill it yet. I only I have like ten hearts. I swear this game is a pew-pew game in space. Why does it look like Zelda? Yeah, so there's a story about that, actually, Rippy. This game was developed by Rareware. Um, uh, you know, the makers of Banjo-Kazooie, right? And Perfect Dark and Gold Knight of 7. Um, and in the middle of them developing this game for the N64, they, Nintendo was like, hey, um, how would you change all the characters and make it about Star Fox instead? Um, so this was like Rare's answer to like the Zelda style adventure games. Um, it's like very Zelda, like very, very Zelda. It's going to get even more so once I actually get to the proper game. Makes sense to be frank, uh, Star Fox pretty big IP. Yeah, at least, especially at this time. Like, of course, not so much anymore because Nintendo hates making games that people want to play. Uh, <laughs> But, um, yeah, at this time, 2002, like, Star Fox was huge. So they saw a chance. They were like, hey, uh, put Star Fox in the game instead. I actually played a long time ago as a, like, a subscriber milestone back when I hit 15 subscribers on Twitch. Um, I played the N64, like, beta version of this game, which at that time was made, was called Dinosaur Planet. Um... And that was fun. You remember watching that mess? It was a mess. It was so buggy. Like, I, I, I it kept crashing. Like, and it, it was a beta. It, it was a beta that was recompiled from, like, a... I'm pretty sure it was from a, a leak, right? Or, so like, a um, data mining of, like, a Nintendo... Like, something from Nintendo... I don't know. I don't know how it happened. But something happened to have gotten someone access to the uh, files and they recompiled it and made it playable on cartridge, which is how I played it. I had a I had an EverDrive um, for, for the N64, so I was able to inject the ROM into the EverDrive and play it. Instead of emulating it. I did get at three Xbox games. Can you guess one of them, I wonder? Uh, Fable? Fable's a pretty classic one. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, the really popular Xbox 360 games. So, like, Fable, um, Halo 2, Halo 3, hell, Halo 4. 2, 3, and 4 were all on 360. Um, uh, there was Gears of War. Halo, I own all on the PC. Uh, so do I. And Lies of the Spirit, Spirits of the Power, power that is in the wrong hands. Compare enhance six, six spears to find. 
so nice to see me live again. Well, thank you, uh, Everyday Idiot. It's good to it's good to be back live again. Love table. I fucking love table so much. I played the shit out of it, dude. So so much. Find the spirit within the shrine. Complete its test. I played it so much. Like I had at least two playthroughs of every Fable game. One for good and one for evil, of course, as you do, right? Evil was always technically more fun, but it was more challenging to be good because it was so easy to be evil. Um, you know? Uh, you got Bayonetta 1, good choice. Chains Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, I, I never played Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, I don't know anything about it other than like it was kind of like it was like got mixed reviews, right? Um, and then Vanquish. I've never heard of Vanquish before. Felt good to achieve the Halo and such. Yeah, it really did. It was funny though, cause you, and you might know about this idiot, but um, uh, it, when you were when you're good, when you're evil, right? It's easy to go on a rampage around town and kill all the townsfolk and have their have their uh, houses go up for sale and you buy the houses and you collect rent and that's how a really easy way to make money in the game right but when you're good you can't do that you can't kill everybody so what i would do and this was before i really like was had, had stable like constant internet connection so i didn't i didn't look this up myself like or i didn't look this up on the internet i figured this out myself and i'm sure this is nothing new for anyone on the internet i i didn't discover this sure but <laughs> um i found out that if you are good you can get people to follow you so if you get a whole town whole town's worth of people following you take them outside and just leave them there abandon them outside go back inside their house will be up for sale <laughs> Abusing to trust is not evil in Fable. Yeah. I'll still, I'll still, I'll like, I'll say to my dogs when I'm like wanting them to stay. Sometimes I'll go wait because of Fable. You follow. Wait. Follow. Follow. Wait. Like, I just burned into my head at this point. And then Fable 2, uh, mechanically... Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Fable 2, mechanically, was a good game. Um... Shit ending to a game. Like, worst ending to a game... I've ever played. I'm gonna say spoilers for that game because it's such an old game by now. If you haven't played it, then, like, I'm sorry. But the fucking final boss, you're in a room and you just shoot him once and it's it's done. Just bang, you're done. Like, fuck off. Hated the ending to that game. Hated it so much. Loved the rest of the game. Hated the ending. Let's see where I hide. Urn, stop moving. You must show, follow me. Show me which urn I've hidden in. Find me some times in a row, and I'll meet yours. Okay. Concentrating. Full orange juice mode right now. I wonder if the urns, like, if the urns were to collide with me, would they, would that count as end end for me? I don't know. I almost wasn't paying attention.
Why is it only in my left gear? Later on, we'll see it, but one of these Krizoa, um, I remember one of these Krizoa trials, uh, kind of scaring me as a kid. Um, because it's like a test of fear or courage or something, and it's like a bunch of jump scares. They're very mild jump scares, right? Like, it's not like, it's not like, uh, Eternal Darkness level jump scares or anything like that, which even those are not that bad, still. Got that, but I have Abe's Odyssey on on your brain. Oh, okay. I've never played Abe's Odyssey. Oh, her eyes are creepy because she's got that spirit in her right now. Like the first Crusoe spirit. Remain in your body until you take it to the Crusoe Palace, palace where it must be released. This game is also actually canon to the rest of the Star Fox lore because in future in Star Fox Assault, we'll see that crystals in the game. You can see why so many furries were born playing this. Oh yeah, definitely. I adored this game, and I still didn't come out a furry from it. Um, which is funny, because I just, I you know, earlier I uh, mentioned Blinks the Time Cat, which is also a game about an anthropomorphic uh, animal. But still, ne never, never came a furry. But yes, this game definitely uh, gave birth to a lot of furries. Do I go? Do I step on that, or I'm assuming I step on that platform? Space Jam as well. Oh yeah, Space Jam. Like Space Jam gave the uh, you know a lot of furries. Uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? Is technically Jessica Rabbit was a was an animal, but it really didn't make that too obvious. <laughs> What was another one? Uh, I've heard a few people like Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Like, was it Sally? Or was that Sonic? I think Sally was from Sonic. And then there was like another like female chipmunk or something on the Rescue Rangers. People talk about that a lot. Embrace the fur. It's cozy, right? <laughs> Lines get blurred for some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now she is frozen in a crystal. As if the fucking Legend of Zelda allegories couldn't get any more intense. Meanwhile, in a lost corner of the Lilat system. Game does have all the vibes, yeah. That be it, Rob. Go it. Noose. Get back to work. Hey, Fox! Isn't this music getting on your nerves? I'm trying to work on my classic ass. old man voice. Just give your voice a little bit of rasp. Okay, old timer. Turn it down, Slippy. Me Slippy. It's Why is he so Pepper. old? I don't know. General Pepper here. I have a new mission for General you. General Pepper here. You're approaching Dinosaur Planet, an ancient world on the edge of the Lilac system. So, As you will see, <laughs> Star Fox Breath of the Outer Wild. From its, surface. it's your job to get them back. I just want another Star Fox game in the style of Star Fox Assault. That's not just essentially a remake of Star Fox 64, which actually, sorry, which essentially isn't just a star remake of Star Fox 64 3D, which is a remake of Star Fox 64, which is a remake of Star Fox for the SNES. If you are successful, then the money will be Isn't Pikmin 4 enough for you? No. 
You heard it's a general. step in the right direction, but no. God, what is that pose? I hate their hands. <laughs> God, I hate their hands. It's so weird. Like, their fingers aren't long enough or something. takes place on Thorntail Hollow. Locate the queen of the Earthwalker tribe. She will help you further. Pepper out. Fly through one gold ring to reach dinosaur planet. One gold ring to us. So on, uh, okay, so in the, in the, on the subject of Tears of the Kingdom, tangentially, uh, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, right? A lot of people are kind of comparing them because they have the same kind of like building mechanic. Um, but, uh, wide. Um, yeah, oh yeah, it's, uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, that's so like, it's like all about building vehicles. Um, you can't really build structures like you can in, in, uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, but yeah, that's the whole mechanic of Nuts and Bolts is, uh, is that you build build vehicles to solve problems and get around the get around the landscape uh yeah i hate the character design i've said many times before on this game on this stream that uh i hate nuts and bolts as a banjo game and i hate the character design and everything but i love it as a as its own game it's a terrible banjo kazooie game but it's a great um game by itself when you separate it from the banjo kazooie it's a great game otherwise. Um, I built, the whole point of this is that I, I built in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts uh, an R-Wing based off of the uh, Star Fox Adventures design. Very loosely based. You know, it wasn't like perfect. There were some limitations that you could do with the with that uh, system, but the design was there. The essence was there. I remember thinking this fur texture, like fur graphics on Fox was fucking revolutionary. I know. Now, on to business. By pressing the start button, you will open your communicator. Can I skip this? Choose who you wish to speak to, and then press the A button to contact one of us. Each team member will give you different information. It's not being tested in action, so give it a try as soon as I've finished. And don't forget, you're looking for the Queen Earthwalker. Con conquer live and reloaded. Ah, oh, man, that's another one with really good fur graphics, but I hate, I hate the changes they made to that game. Okay, Aside general, from graphics, but what about a weapon? they completely like gutted the multiplayer and the, same with you, Fox. and the censoring. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not a person that's just like, oh, boo, censorship is dumb. Like, I'm not that kind of person, right? Um, but I feel like it kills the spirit of the game. And besides, there wasn't, wasn't like they were censoring racism or anything, you know what I mean? Like, it was never, the game was never that bad. Um, but, like, they censored way too much. And, like, the Great Mighty Pooh song is censored? Like, how do you... What? Like, it just made no sense, design-wise. So they, they really... Yeah. Hello, stranger. I'm a thorn tail. Niels has unleashed his army shortfalls upon us. Take the fleet Earthwalk. Lock the doors. Very worried about her safety. Let me give some advice about our world. Leave. Can't insult the Chinese when you mention Pooh. By the Chinese, I mean she. Yeah. Honestly, don't. I can't say I see the resemblance. In my opinion. But. Anyone. Any world leader that can't take a joke um is just ridiculous you can't you can't you can't be a leader of a nation and get offended over being compared to a fictional character 
I, I just don't, I just don't see it. You gotta have thicker skin than that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's right. This game had a day and night cycle. Must be the fact that Pooh's an eldritch abomination is not want that connection. Oh yeah, totally. Scara, Bird Seed Dinosaur Planet. I don't even probably. Um, do I have any special armor? Uh, the most special armor that I have is the the glider armor or the wingsuit. I only have the torso for that. I know it has a helmet and legs too, but I only have the torso. I have a, a lot, I have a lot of pristine weapons um, from the, going into the depths. Like pretty much all of my base weapons, like the you know the weapon bases for all my combinations and fusions are pristine weapons. Um, most of them are soldier grade, so they're not really that excellent. But I just recently picked up. A soldier greatsword. That was cool. Oh yeah, the fierce deity mask. I knew that was in there. They they brought back like all of the armor from the first game, which is cool. When in doubt, return to Hyrule Castle. Yeah. Well, don't tell me where it's at, Echo. I know, I knew it was in the game already, just don't tell me where it's at. Oh, that's right, you attack with A button. Okay, um, why isn't it B? I don't know. Can I just change that? Oh, staff action. Yeah. Mushrooms, you can only knock them out. He runs like a power walker. <laughs> I have to see it again. Oh god, he does. <laughs> I know what you mean. Runs relatively fast. Oh god! I'm used to Breath of the Wild, pressing, pressing a button to jump, or Tears of the Kingdom by extension. Uh, I take that to mean he's talking about like someone who like power walks, like like really like someone who walks for for um their health, like, exercise. Not that old beat sound. I can't explain it, but that sound they use for the game is, like, used in so many games of this era. Do with this. I don't remember. Okay, does he actually have a combo or does he just. 
the shing sound. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the the sheathing noise, the sheath noise that they use. Okay, so he does have combos. That's right. Man, the the audio is weirdly balanced. It's like block noise is only in the left ear. Or well, no, it, I don't think it's because it's in the left ear. I think it's I think it's because it's saying that the enemy is more weighted towards the. Yeah, so now it's in the right ear. That's so weird. I might have to turn stereo sound off. That's really distracting. Would be great to know what she's saying just now. Freaky to me how her head flies around and speaks nonsense. No, that's weird. Oh, all right. Oh god, I didn't do that. Why did he sink so far down? Oh, oh. Looking head. Yeah, it's it's weird. This game, now that I know the history of it, really does give the energy of uh, it changed changed assets mid development and changed console mid development kind of feel. Like, it doesn't feel poorly made. The movement is fine, and the combat's okay. It's just... Uh, you know, it just feels... Something about it feels... Off. But I love it. Still love this game. You can see the cracks if you know where to look for. Exactly. God, the sensitivity is wild. He's getting, he's getting raptured. Also, that scream is like used in. What is going on? What's going on? Why? Asshole. That scream is used in Glover. This looks vastly improved than compared to uh, the Dinosaur Planet version on the N64, though. Like you could tell, you could you could also definitely tell this game. This version is a lot farther in development. Of course, I mean it's, it's complete compared to the Dinosaur Planet version, but like. Going from that to this is insane. Would have been kind of fun if I, um, like, for a few minutes or something, played the N64 version and then played this just as a refresher to see the 
comparison, but it's not worth it. I'd have to dig it. I haven't plugged my okay? N64 up to my capture my card since I McLeod, finished with that deep dive, so... No, no, rude, no, caru, way, way, moje. Prince Tricky Keog Root Suf Kehot Rook Rock around Ut Kubot Ki Ice Mountain. It's tricky. Did you get that slippy? You've got to go to the Ice Mountain and rescue her son. The prince Why does Star Fox sound like a small kid teenager? Because that was the voice of the generation. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> nice okay, name. Okay, lady, baby. I'll bring your son back to you. Uh, can you give me some directions? You've got to talk to that big stone guy. She called him a wolf. I like the anime, like the, the facial expressions and, and animations from Fox are a really nice touch. Like when Slippy popped it back up over his shoulder. Was uh it was really like almost natural. You could see that the, the irritation in his face was palpable. A really good attention to detail. I was not listening to what Slippy was saying though. What do I need to do? <laughs> Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. Okay, do I smack that plant and grab a spore? Is that what I need to do? Oh, I see. This is a dinosaur planet, right? <laughs> hey, Carl, what's up? I like the music in this game. Nice. You know, it's not like Oscar. I probably wouldn't have won an award at Game Over. <laughs> yeah, blow up an explosive right next to the sleeping dinosaur. Happy to be here, that's good. But Oh my. How long is it? Not that I'm not that I would be in a hurry to beat it or anything, I'm just curious. I don't remember it being terribly long. That'll wake you up in the morning. Yeah, for real. What is this? What is this? Wish my tomatoes grew that fast. Do breach. Back and I just um. How are they already? Oh, all right. They're scattered around it. We've been enabled to fly to the flowing world over the above. Right. Um, we just uh, transplanted our plants that we've been growing from seedlings, or not not even seedlings from seeds. Uh, we did that yesterday, or not yesterday, Sunday. They're not too terribly big right now, but. They're getting there. 
We planted multiples of each of the plants we wanted, and we picked the best ones. Just in case. And it's a good thing we did, though, because we planted six of each plant, and maybe, like, two to four of them grew. I think only one, one type of plant grew all... Uh... Grew all six. And I think it was like the cucumbers, I think. Mario. Okay, well, you. What, what would you want Mario to say? Um. Do this and commentate a bit as him. All right, so I'm Mario, all right? I'm, I'm, Mar I'm Nintendo's Mario from the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> oh, come oh. Perfection, yeah. I love that movie. I, did you guys see that movie? The animated one, not the live action one with Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. Is that, uh, not just yet? Oh, it's actually really good. Like, unironically. I know you, you have kids. Um, and they'll love it, and you'll love it. They'll love it because it's fun. It's a fun movie. You'll love it because it's Mario. Um, you haven't? Yeah, you you should. It's on streaming services now. If you can't get out to see um, to see it in theaters, it's it's uh, it's on streaming services now. I don't know what service it's on. I don't remember. Um, but it's available now. What does this go to? I realized I opened this gate. And I didn't. Fave voice acting you did was Solid Snake I had to do on a wheel spin day. I don't even remember what I said when I did that. I heard I was waiting for it to be released. I refused to pay for cinema. You know, with with the way it is now, I wouldn't blame you. You know, it's one thing to say you gotta support the movie, you gotta support the arts, you gotta support the industry, right? But when cinemas are charging so much for everything, it's it's hard to justify. Right. I was gonna talk about it, but I don't think I really had spoilers in Twitch unless it's all just profanity. Uh can you? I love cinema theaters five five dollar or one PM. Oh yeah. Yeah, um my local cinema has like I think it's like seven dollar Tuesdays or something. Um I wanna pay ten dollars for popcorn and more for a movie one time. Yeah, that's valid. Um what was I going to Google? Uh, yeah, hang on. Twitch chat spoiler tags. Oh, yeah. Okay, does this work? No. Yeah, there's no spoiler text, which I thought there were, but maybe I'm just thinking of uh, this. Oh, right, the warp stone. I forgot. I go to theaters four times a month for twenty dollars total. Me time away from the kids. That's valid. I, I've been going to the theaters more frequently lately. Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. Okay, Shrek. I forgot how Shrek this person is. Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. What is that supposed to mean? Nobody ever what? brings me gifts anymore. Keep your money and buy electric curtains. Hey, those are handy. Uh, what am I? What am I supposed to bring him? When the heck did he pick up the Scottish accent? 
I don't remember him having a Scottish accent, honestly. And this was before Shrek, right? Or was Shrek 2001? It was 2001, so that was, this was right after Shrek. Really good. Definitely plan on acquiring a DVD. Nice. I haven't gotten it yet, but the soundtrack is available digitally. Ooh, that's good, because the soundtrack was really good. I loved all the, uh, all the video game references in the soundtrack. It was absolutely fantastic. I didn't care for how many pop culture, uh, songs were in it, you know? I would have preferred it if it was all just original music, but whatever. It's a it's an Illumination movie. They had to have put pop music in it somewhere, right? You know? Uh, Fat Bastard predates Shrek. Yeah, yeah, it's Austin Powers. Austin Powers was like 90s, right? Were they? Yeah, they were all in the 90s. That was like peak 90s humor. Austin Powers. Illumination is amazing animation. They really do. Uh, minions or not, like, say what you will about minions, and I fucking hate them, but Illumination's animation studio, like, really, really good. You can't deny it. Um, but yeah, I, I just absolutely adored, um, all the original music in the Mario Brothers movie. It's so good. Stupid ass Facebook memes, yeah, for sure. Facebook moms sure do love their, uh. Love their, uh, minion memes, right? You don't use Facebook more than just a message? Same. I, stu I do still get on my Facebook occasionally, um, just to check things out from time to time. Because some, like, it's the only way I could really see any updates from, like, certain family members, right? Um, but I don't, I don't hardly post. And if I do, it's cursed shit that I see. too young to properly enjoy the Austin Powers movies, but I still thought they were funny. He seeks the scallops to end the Cape Claw. He seeks the scallops. Oh God, 60 scarabs? I only have 10, I can only carry 10 of a maximum. Never mind that. MySpace for granted. Dude, I fuck with MySpace. I loved MySpace. Like, I, that was, like, just the turning point of, like, my angsty teenage years. Dude, like, changing my profile to, like, some, like, black and blue, like, abstract, uh, aesthetic using HTML code copy and pasted from the, some website. Set my profile song as like Faint by Linkin Park or something. Misery by Good Charlotte, you know, stuff like that. Had my music playlist autoplayed. Yeah, so did I. So did I. God, we should not have been allowed. Uh, at least I should not have been allowed un unfiltered internet access at that age. I'm just really glad that. Uh, like, hardly any of that exists anymore. And I've tried to look. Like, I've really tried to find my old Facebook profile. No one should have unfiltered internet access in general. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's so true. Like... 
there's certain I, I I am all for uh what's it the concept of like what net neutrality right like ISPs shouldn't um shouldn't get in the way of what things what consumers see but like fuck uh 12 year olds should not be able should not have should have never been able to watch live beheadings <laughs> You know what I mean? And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, like, man, early internet. You don't want to know. Maybe there weren't live beheadings, but like, oh yeah, live leak, man. There, there used to be ways to watch some really fucked up shit on the internet. Worse than like, I don't know, worse than the, meme sites like uh like you know two girls one cup uh meat spin like all that stuff that's just like shock sites so half of that wasn't even real but like man there there should have been limits to things welcome to my store feel free to look at the many wonderful items within the Walls. Times were different. Food, they were so different. Special goods and many maps. I remember when I played the Dinosaur play Planet games, version of this game on stream, I could not figure out how to navigate the store. Yeah. So confusing. Oh, and that's the exit. Uh, okay. Thanks. Does this sound like a witch? Yeah, I know. find something that you like, then choose that item, and we'll discuss a prize. Is that clear? The witch lizard? Yeah. Well, <laughs> good. A lich. Now, Wait, no. Wrong thing. Something. Oh, get out. Very much find someone in their rareware, found someone in their Twycross, Twycross England studios to voice that character. You know they did. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's how they voiced most of their... Uh, voice acting. Like, they just got people from around the office. The soundtrack kind of poop. Yeah, it's very, like, generic. And I'm pretty sure this is, like, how I get more scarabs. I don't know. Generic, bizarre, seedy underbelly shop kind of thing. You know what I mean? Bomb spore, fuel cell. Up, fungus, egg. Dumble dang. Yeah, but what is it? I don't remember what these do. Do I even need to bother buying them? Like, I only have 10 scarabs, so I'm trying to be economical. I don't even know if I need to be in here. Firefly lantern. Map. No more artifact. What do I need to? No, that's. Baffum Dad? What is that? Oh, I remember now. I need to bring this to the um, thing. I def display. What? Where are all the microtransactions? Yeah. This game, yeah, this game's got a season pass. You know it. Ocean Force Point. Back Rock. These are pretty cheap. Pretty, pretty cheap items. No wonder you can only carry 10 scarabs. I'm just looking to see what he's got right now. I'm not buying anything just yet. Oh, these are even more maps. Holy crap. I'm doing good. Kind of been under stress this past week. Hard to explain it's calming down now. I'm glad it's calming down for you, man. I don't know what this room is for, but okay. I'm gonna buy the rock candy because I know that's what I need to do. You pay this much. Okay, I'll sell it to you. I'll 
Okay, I'll send it to you. The Legend of Zelda trope number 1488. Good impression. Thank you. Don't ask me to do the impression of the warp stone, though. I can't I can't do accents. than like a shoddy British accent. I mean, I can do American accents to an extent, right? Nobody ever brings me gifts anymore. But like European, other, other countries' accents, I'm just gonna end up offending someone. Rightfully so, because it's ah, just that bad. A lovely sweetie. <laughs> We're gonna really drive it home with some bagpipes. <laughs> Who dares bother the mighty warp stone? A thousand years I've been left alone to rest. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, well, some can great you mighty help us? Vibes. <laughs> help you? No. But you're a warp stone. You're supposed to help. Ah, uh, right. Let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Now, if you push left on the control stick, then I'll send you to one of those warp stone thingies. We'll get back to that in a minute. Kind of Warhammer 40 cable. Can the image came the out? Stick, fun. I don't. I don't know anything about that. The maze. Ah, now this What's the maze? A bit special. When you have collected a Crozoa spirit, then push right on the control stick, and I'll send you to Crozoa Palace. Now, Imagine you know more hammer and doom do. smash together. But that so does sound like fun. And make a choice. If not, then press B so I can get back to sleep. We'll go to. We'll Are ask. you ready to walk? Russian. Be funny if he just throws you. Yeah, it just chucks you. That hallway was how I felt last time I got high. throws you into orbit and you just like have to re like go back through re-entry re with no spacesuit box lands naked and earless wispy yeah <laughs> beaten or tricky naked and afraid that's right huh huh This area is kind of familiar because uh, they had this in the in the uh, N64 version. It's good but awful. I know, like, like the care, like the voice actor does a good job with the voice and like delivering his line. Like the line delivery is great. It's just the vocal, like the the voice itself is just so camp. I'm eternally curious what happens in games and worlds when characters are displaying controls. I'm never walking around and someone tells me, hey, press Z and A to do a backflip. Yeah, yeah, what does it what does it feel like on their end? I'm glad I still have one of these pods. What the hell? Oh, it's my shield. Love how it did it tell me that I had a shield or did I just miss that?
being a fan of Red, uh, of Arcane Studios, I really wanted to like Redfall. Had it free on Game Pass, the game barely ran, it felt so generic. Yeah, I never even bothered to pick it up. I'm... Cheat token? No. I'm the same exact way. Like, I I love Arcane Studios. Um, but... Man, Redfall was shit. <laughs> so bad. Like, what... How did that even happen? Deathloop was confusing. I liked Deathloop, but it was a bit confusing at times. I'm not supposed to do this anymore. You had to use guys. No, I, I didn't have to use a guide, but... It was a little obtuse sometimes. I watching someone who really knows how to play the game play the game was really entertaining, though. Like uh, emergent designer, um, who uh, has also streamed before. If you guys aren't familiar with, it. I think all of you guys definitely did. So um, he he played a lot of Deathloop when it came out. He loved that game, um, and. Uh, he was really fun to watch when he played it, because he knew what he was doing. He was the death loop grinder, yeah, for sure. Down in this cave real quick. Or is this where I, this is where I came from, right? He's top ten speedrun still? Really? That's awesome. Was it what you, have you seen Garfield CG animated movie? I have not... Wait, no, I have seen that one. Uh, it was pretty good, I remember thinking. But now it's been a while since I've seen it, though, so I could be wrong. Um, Want to, like, put those games that have hurt my soul so much? I mean, I'm still going to play Starfield, but, like, dude, having... Breath of the Wild and then Tears of the Kingdom both come out with little to no bugs and glitches. Like, bro. Other open world games need to get their shit together. You know what I mean? I lost track of what I was doing. What was I doing? Nintendo Polish is one of the best sellers. Yeah, absolutely. But compared to the Tears of the Kingdom, it looks like a joke. 100%. Sai, si, you and I have talked about this at length. Um, but, uh, I, like... Breath of the Wild walked so Tears of the Kingdom could fucking run, dude. It was I am Fox McCloud, such a huge a difference Fox in quality team. and mechanics and, like, everything's home. awesome about it. Hey, wait! Love Tears of the Kingdom so much. And I fully expect myself to keep, like, playing it for the next few months. Is the kingdom has a better story? I can already tell that. Like, I haven't, I haven't played enough of the story just yet to really make a full definitive, like, remark about it. But already, it's giving me better impressions than Breath of the Wild story. It seems way more fleshed out. So, it's a good sequel. Oh yeah. Is the, the kingdom story has been great? Good. Okay. I mean, again, of course, no spoilers, but uh, I have high hopes for it. Like, it seems way more fleshed out than just uh, everything sucks, Link has amnesia. Figure it out. The only glitches Breath of the Wild TK, TOTK are fun ones for speedrunners to exploit. Exactly. That's exactly it. There have never, there's not been any, uh, whether, 
be it the ones I've encountered or ones that I've seen, there has not been any glitches in Tears of the Kingdom that have broken the game or made it worse in, in any way. You know what I mean? And that's good. I don't, I don't mind glitches, especially if they're funny or just graphical or visual or anything. Like, it's fine if a game has glitches. And hell, at this point, with so much shit that goes into a game, it's almost expected, right? But when you have games that actively break at the slightest provocation, like, nah. Yeah, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, based on environmental changes and changes to certain characters, we... I have figured out, or I'm guessing, that it happens about four to five years after Breath of the Wild. Now, what I'm curious is, uh, where does the time skip start? Like, they make mention that Link has been gone, Link and Zelda have been gone for a little while. So, were they missing for five years? Like, does, does Link and Zelda go down below Hyrule Castle in the, in the opening cutscene? shortly after the events of Breath of the Wild? Or is that five years after Breath of the Wild and Link was just missing for, like, a day or two? You know what I mean? So, when the five-year time skip begins, I haven't yet figured out for myself, but it is roughly four to five years. Apart. They was on a honeymoon? Yeah. They were canoodling in Link's house in the uh, Hateno village. Honeymooning on Rito in Lanayru, um, Canyon. Or Lanayru, uh, Plains? I don't know. Or not Lanayru, um, Tabantha. I didn't really know they were on any Breath of the Wild glitches that said I, uh, I've enjoyed the occasional drop and took away to a body water and watching it despawn. <laughs> Just like out of existence. Gosh dang it. This sucks. Why? Can I, can I not like fight? Do I have to just knock them out? Had a glitch to glitch inside of a shrine to save time. Yeah, yeah, you can clip inside of a that one and uh, whistle whistle running, and then there was like uh, bullet time bouncing, which saw you like bounce off of an enemy's head and just go sh like shooting into the air. Uh, and there was like some like bomb glitches with been involving uh, the bow and the remote bombs that could let you like hover and stuff. But it was nothing that ever crashed the game, broke the game, or made any any vanilla players. Like, you had to really try to pull off these glitches. Like, you, you would never encounter these glitches just playing the game vanilla. Uh, but I believe most of the time skipped in between games and only a few weeks in the game. Okay, I think you're right, Smeebit. Dang it! I can't seem to get, I can't seem to get through this part. I'm, there are probably other uh, glitches, but yeah, like it's all just been stuff that have been used for speed running. Right? Search party feels very fresh. They only set up recently. Yeah, yeah, that's that's valid. What I really like, um, speaking of like search party and like you know team stuff going on, where the uh, I haven't done any more of it, but the the little side quest that saw you clear out a camp of the goblins and there was like a boss health meter, but it was more of like the collective health of the goblin group. Um, that kind of gave me um, Hyrule Warriors vibes, and I like. Uh, I like the group fighting, like fighting with NPCs. Just the whole world itself 
feels so much more alive uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. And maybe that's because, like, Breath of the Wild High Rules was coming off of a calamity and everything was fucked and shit sucked, right? But, like, I don't know. I just love how, how lived in and alive the world is. Tears of the Kingdom. And it, like, it still has its moments of um, solid, uh, solitude, almost its solitarity, which is that word. Link's hair? Yeah, yeah, did he have, did he have long hair and it was just tied up in the cutscene? Or what? My hair is almost about as long as Link's. Cause yeah, like when you when when you see his hair tied up with armor on it, it looks about the same length as it was in the cutscene, so I don't think it's gotten any longer. Well that was convenient. I just stun locked the dude into dying. And I am accelerating, for those of you wondering, or in case anyone's wondering, I am accelerating. It's just I keep hitting these guys with bombs. Googling his hair now. <laughs> Me bits on the case. Come on. Got him. <laughs> that was cheap as hell, but I don't care. <laughs> My hair is just about down to my shoulders. Hang on. Actually, it is down to my shoulders for the most part. But, uh, very goofy. Has a small tail going, so a little long. Okay, so yeah, it's already long. We got a mullet just in his tail. Pretty much, yeah. What? <laughs> I, I can't understand you. hot spring, or you'd be frozen by now. Why, you little hey, I wouldn't if I were you. My dad's a king earthwalker, and he'll bash you up. What is it? Who's tricky voice he'll be actor? Doing any he bashing. He's been captured. That's why I've been sent to rescue you. He's been captured? That's right. It was your mother that sent me to find you. Is she okay? She'll be just fine. But we need to get you home. <laughs> nah, dude, she's dying. Like, I'm not even making a joke. She's actually, I'm pretty sure she dies, right? before time trauma. Yeah. Nothing builds character in video games like a parent's death. Look at this. <laughs> Forgot you had to actually feed. Look at this. Um... Oh yeah, man. They they love forcing uh, uh, patricide down our throats, right? I did not expect that voice, and I don't feel like this is the first time I've been surprised about it. Fine. 
I remember that. Dum de dum. Where Fable Stay. 2 got a dog mechanics, yeah. <laughs> Directly from this game. Can I just jump down or is it gonna make me climb down? It's Rare Bear reuses a lot of these sound effects. Yeah, they do. I, I've I've been keeping like a mental note of what like sound effects I've heard before in games. So weird. Stay. No, don't stay. Find. I mean, hey, they were economical, right? If you just have, like, a CD in your studio full of dock sound effects, you already own it. Why not use them, right? So, is Tricky over here a hey, listen character or more of a help Leon character? Kind of both, actually. I don't think he can actually die, and I'm not sure if he even gets, like, recaptured or anything. But he definitely doesn't help fight. And... Uh, is very annoying. Wind Waker is your favorite Zelda? I, uh, love Wind Waker. I actually really like, T uh, uh, Twilight Princess. I almost said Tears of the Kingdom. So T starts with a T as well. Um, and, like, I almost feel like you have to now consider, like, old Zelda in a completely different category from... Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Like, it's, you can't hardly compare the games anymore because they're so different. Like, it, it wouldn't be fair, almost, to compare the two. The two kinds of Zeldas, I mean. Like, like 3D versus 2D Zelda, you know? Two completely different experiences. Um, that being said, I don't know if I have a favorite Zelda of that era. I really love Wind Waker and Twilight Princess both. I like the new games, but I can't stand their ability mechanics. It makes me bored and stressful. To me, uh, I've gotten used to it, so I'm kind of over it. I felt the same way when I first played Breath of the Wild. Um, but now, uh, now my own only gripe with the durability is the fact that it doesn't tell you how much durability is left on a weapon until it's just about to break. Someone say every shrine in TOTK was like was basically building a bridge. No, I disagree with that. I see where they're coming from. Like I, I, I feel like they if people who say that have only played like the first four or five shrines, right? Because a lot of them do just involve putting a thing in a spot to walk over, right? I'll, I'm not going to deny that, but no, there there are a lot of many different puzzles to, to these shrines. Tricky, are you crazy? Just leave the sharp claws to me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Zelda nuts hey, and bolts. Fox. Yeah, exactly. If ever you need me to uh, come back, you just use my heel, Regretfully, man. I and still I'll haven't played right Wind Waker you, that said okay? thanks to the Switch since the last stream I finally... Increase the Zelda games I've played from two to four. Oh, nice! You played two. What other what other Zelda games have you played? Yeah. 
I get why they said it was a lot more waste than a fridge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One of them, though, <laughs> it was really funny. One of them uh, involved you doing, like, ice and, like, a, a ice cube and, like, a wooden box and, like, other, like, cubes and everything to move them around and build yourself a way to get up a thing. But instead of doing that, there's a pool of lava nearby that you could throw, um... Uh, you could throw the ice cube into the pool of lava and make obsidian cubes. Or, like, whatever. Like, the things, the platforms to walk on. So I just made a whole bunch of those platforms, stuck them together using the Ultra Hand, and built myself a ramp up to the to the final solution. So Star Fox Adventures, rare copying Zelda. TOTK is bit Nintendo copying Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Dumb. We're gonna hear that a lot. Oh god, I didn't, it's not expected to fall through the earth. I don't really need all of this. Oh, I have a feeling I should have uh, waited to collect those. Oh, damn it, I should have. <laughs> oh well. One ability in TOTK that I keep forgetting that I have is the Ascend ability. Okay. I really want crafting to stop being in every game, so burnt out ever since Xbox 360. Zero Dawn was terrible for me solely because of the crafting. I get that. Because I famously only played two NES ones, okay? Tried to link to the past earlier, haven't returned to it yet, but it counts. Wait, Breath of the Wild, as I was mentioning, plan on playing Majora's Mask with the expansion pack online thing. What? Oh, oh, that. Yeah, gotcha. Um, the Switch online expansion pack. Use that service. I'm either playing Mario Party or Banjo Kazooie. Both excellent usage of those services. Ocarina of Time is another great one. Ocarina of Time is fantastic. It was my first Zelda game. I'm too hungry to talk to strangers. Okay. Wait, Ricky, let me... I forget Ascend frequently, too. One time I thought I was trapped in the cave for a few minutes. Felt so stupid. Really. Same! That's exactly how I, like, remembered that I had it. I'm too hungry um, to talk to strangers. I was like, I don't know how... Like, I, I don't want to... The, the closest shrine was, like, too far away to really justify uh, using it, right? Or not using it, but I mean, um... To justify fast travel. I was like, I don't, I don't know what I want to do now. Um, something near. Well, then, I, then I remembered I had, I had ascend, and was able to get out of it. Your first was a link to the past. Nice. Zelda Two: The Adventure, Link, the hardest game of my childhood. I've never played Zelda Two. Never. I've seen so many playthroughs of it, but I've never played it myself. Fine play. Sauce plays it almost annually. Um, he, he has a lot of nostalgia with that. But I've never played it uh, myself. Fine. Yeah. 
Why does he? Why does he? Have, why does he have a cat noise? Fine. That makes sense. <laughs> Game has better frame rate than Breath of the Wild in TOTK. That is the other worst. That's like the worst thing about Tears of the Kingdom is its performance. Um. The Switch really holds that game back. Wake up. Dude, seriously? 27 frames per second at $70. Hell yeah, dude. It's it's not even really that bad of like that bad of a looking game. Is that a that's phrase that weird the game doesn't look that bad right a lot of people are complaining about the game's visuals not that bad it's performance <sighs> in terms of frame rate is what's like a crime basically but nothing you can do when nintendo refuses to to uh, release an update to the switch a hardware update for the switch you know Have you guys figured out where to go with the bubble frogs? I have not, and if anyone knows, don't say anything. <laughs> or or PM Neko, because I want to figure it out myself. Um, 60 is okay. Honestly, I'm fine with 60. I don't... I love 144 hertz. I don't see a huge difference between the two. I know it was a really huge meme back in the day that, like... Oh, the human eye can't heart, can't even perceive 60 frames a second, you know, blah, 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 30 frames is fine. You know, that's not true. But I honestly can't see much of a difference between 144 and 60. Um, it's more of a feel thing. I get that. Yeah. Um, so I'm fine with 60. That should be the standard. If you can't make a game that runs at a steady 60 frames per second, then you need to do something different with your game. You need to optimize it different something, right? Um, improve your hardware, optimize your game a different way. Like it's in this, in this day and age, like 60 should be the minimum. Especially if you're going to be charging $70 for your games. <laughs> that being said, we're all playing Tears of the Kingdom. We're all going fucking nuts for it, you know what I mean? By collecting scarabs, you'll be able to buy many useful items. But hey, I mean, so Smeebit, you're right. Performance and level of detail at a distance are where it's the biggest hits. But I will say, I've been impressed at how far away the game renders things at least in even just like low poly detail especially when you get when you compare it to games that are also on the switch like uh pokemon violet and scarlet you know what i mean i know it's, it's a cheap shot to talk shit about pokemon games nowadays because they all suck when it comes to performance and visuals but um it's just you know prime example right so I've been impressed on how detailed the uh, distance has been. Played Breath of the Wild 60 frames per second, 1080p on emulation. It's amazing. Oh yeah, and like like Neko just said, TOTK 60 frames per second, 1440p. Uh, it yeah, it exists. Um, I've seen it. I can't technically advocate for this, but I've. I know, I know people like myself and all of us that own a legitimate copy of Tears of the Kingdom, you know, there have been ways that you can get a copy of your game transferred over to the PC and emulate it yourself. Yeah, you can make your own copy, 
and dump it, you know? Those of us that legally own the game and do it for our own purposes and don't share it to other people, because that is illegal. But, yeah. Pokemon developers signed off for making more games now. I'm hoping for better developers. God, they... They seriously need to outsource that shit, because they're not good at it. I'm just gonna say it outright. Like, they're great at character design. Hell, even some of their stories, right? Like, some of the stories in some of the Pokemon games have been really good. Um... But the graphics for Pokemon games, they... It's clear that a lot of the designers for, like, for those games don't know how to design for 3D. They don't know how to do 3D stuff, right? Um, so they just need to outsource that shit. Just plain and simple. Make the story, make the characters, make the design, like, character design and everything. Have someone else handle the, the, the programming and 3D aspect of it. My thing is, Tears of the Kingdom is doing so much more than Star Fox Adventures. If you want to UTK to run at 65 FPS, and you have to strip a lot of that the game. Very true. Yep. Absolutely right. The last game was dog shit. My daughter had to wait three weeks before the bugs could be good enough to complete it. Are you talking about uh, Scarlet and Violet? Um, because I, yeah. They, they, they did do, they did release a couple... Um, stability patches, right? Um, but it really wasn't enough. <laughs> God, Sun and Moon. I know a lot of people Bring didn't like Sun and Moon. And I'll see what I can do. But uh, I loved it, and I really loved the Ultra Beasts and the story that they would. It was like, no, wait, no. I think people didn't like Ultra Sun and Moon. But I loved, I loved the Ultra Beasts, and I really wish they would bring that back. Sun and Moon was like, yeah, right, okay, gotcha. I'm not a Pokemon fan, I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> Valid. You're, you're lucky, Smeebit. I think people, people, at least, at least me, I can't speak for everyone, but... Uh, it it's sad because people like me who grew up with Pokemon are just so sucked into it now. It's like it's like we're this far in. We may as well keep doing it. You know what I mean? We do it to ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. Just sucks seeing my daughter sad because her game was corrupt after 50 hours. Oh, fuck. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Ultra felt like a cash grab. Had Ultra been the main version, that it would have been fine. Where yeah, though I know that, that Ultra had made some changes to the original story of Sun and Moon, and uh, I did not like those changes from what I from what I read. I didn't even bother playing Ultra Sun and Moon. So I can't really speak to the quality of the game itself, but um, but I I only ever heard that people didn't like it. Um, but I I know what I read of the story of Ultra. Um, Ultra was good because Getsis came back to murder more children. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, neat. I, uh, I liked the story of Sun and Moon because it was, it was, like, really deep for a Pokemon game. And, like, the concept of Ultra Beasts, like, fusing yourself with an Ultra Beast was just fucking nuts. Just all of it was insane. I loved it. I wish we would go back to the Ultra Beasts. I want more of that stuff. It was, like, borderline eldritch, like, creatures, you know? Okay, so let's see. 
Ultra was good. Okay, last one I played was Pokemon Black. I play. I did not like Gen 5. I didn't like the mechanics that it brought, and I didn't like most of the Pokemon. Um, I'm just gonna, like, I know that's a, that's a, what's considered a hot take, and a bad take for a lot of people, but I just didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like the Pokemon designs, I didn't like the mechanics, like, eh. Um, but... The, uh, what were you saying, Sai? Lore-wise, Getsus in Breath of the Wild 2 wanted to actually murder the main character? Oh, damn. And the canon of Ultra was that each leader achieved their goals. Oh! Wow. I'll have to look more into that, then. Oh, what a sad day. My golden root has been stolen. Okay. I guess I'll find your golden root. Quit Pokemon because of Black? Got it. So you, you just really didn't like it that much, and you're like, oh, I'm done with the series. Valid. Last one I played was Poke Park and Wii Pikachu's Adventures. Dude, Poke Park 2? I, I played both of the Poke Park games, and unironically, I loved them. And Poke Park 2 was really good. You've been playing them since yellow, so you got burned out. Valid. Perfectly valid. Black and white story is dark as fuck. I don't remember black and white story, to be honest with you. That's what. Notice I haven't been saying I didn't. I whether I whether I liked their its story or not, because I don't remember. Fuck are you? Bafum, Dad. Magical creatures' powers can restore life. Oh, okay. So it's like a fairy. Wait up, Fox. Do you Looks hear like that, that one Digimon. Oh my god, it does. Do you hear that? I hear a bird of some kind. No, you're going to have to be a lot more descriptive. I had a lot of fun with the first one. Keep forgetting it had a sequel. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were good games, too. I really liked the, the battle mechanics in that game. It, like, I wish more Pokemon games had battle mechanics like Pokepark. Like, you could, you could dodge and attack at will. Like, it was really good, really good mechanics. Patapon. I think you're right. You probably Googled it so you actually know, but that sounds familiar. If you aren't a fan of Pokemon, the black and white manga is really dark. That's cool. I love me some dark, um, dark games. Or, like, children's games with dark lore. It's funny. Like, that in, like, this, like, canon and not just, like, creepypastas or, like, fan theories. You know what I mean? Team Plasma freezes an entire city and crucifies the gym leaders as a threat to the league. Wow! Holy shit! I suppose I have to uh, pay the toll. I don't want to pay the toll, though. I'd love to play Xenoblade Chronicles X again, but it's a Wii U exclusive. Don't want to have to buy a Wii U just for that one game. Yeah, see, I I really like Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, uh, and it worked really well. I liked the, I loved the game. I loved the gameplay. There's so much to do in that game that eventually I got, I stopped playing it. Um, I stopped playing it for a while, and then when I picked it back up again, I had no idea where the fuck I was. X had some really good music. Yes, it did. And the, the mech mechanics were really good. Um, the fight, you know, the fight system, the combat system was good. Um, I mean, there was a lot, of, there was a lot to like in, uh, in, in Xenoblade Chronicles X. And this is coming from someone who has never played a Xenoblade Chronicles game besides 
X. Like, I didn't play the one on the Wii. I haven't played X2 or Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or 3. Um, but, uh, also I tried to play Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U gamepad, like just by itself off, off TV. And it's impossible. The, the menu text is so tiny. You can't, you, like, it is impossible to play Xenoblade Chronicles X on just the Wii U gamepad. Faster, I wonder if I can make it here. There's something near. Stay. Final Fantasy 14 had a new patch. Oh, see, I, I can't play, I can't play MMOs anymore. I really wish I could, cause I love, I loved playing MMOs when I was younger and had more free time. But just as Everyday Idiot said, Final Fantasy XIV is a job. And I have enough time, I have enough trouble right now keeping motivation to do shit like streaming, for example. Hence my several long, I have several month long hiatus. And, uh, and like, I'm, I'm afraid eventually I'm not gonna have enough time to keep up with, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, you know what I mean? Like, but like, we'll see. Wow is, wow is life not a career? <laughs> wow is a wow. I can't play wow. Like MMO, MMO paralysis aside, like there's too much shit going on on the screen for me. Too many squares, too many abilities to manage. I, I don't know how people do it. I mean, I'm, you probably get used to it after a while, but I, I don't know, maybe it's, form of ADHD or something, Stay. I don't know. I'm not trying to... You only use like four or five. Oh, I see what's going on. And learn a location. Oh, okay. So it's like you kind of have your your main ones that you use, and then if only Navi didn't force me to buying three four. Yeah, Blizzard Blizzard sucks. I'm still gonna play it. Why do you do that? Hey, man. Die has his own free will. Besides, when have you ever listened to me about anything? <laughs> you should have learned. What was the last time? Look good, but yeah, you act like I told you to buy Doki Doki Literature Club or something. I'm saying, dude, probably give me this month's rent. Oh, valid. Yeah, yeah. I was actually gonna, I was honestly, I was gonna make that joke. I was gonna make that joke, but you, like, I was gonna say something like, the last time you listened to me was when I told you to pay rent. Same brain cell. Yeah, we just trade sometimes. I'm here, guys. Mission accomplished. Contact General Pepper so we can get paid. She is gonna be okay, isn't she, Fox? Are you sure you finished down there? The planet's not back together yet. No, everyday idiot. The, the yeah, the beta for help. Diablo 4 actually Fox was out. legitimately good. Is there it's... anything we can do for her? I uh, need to find white grub tops. Same brain My cell, but I don't need it <laughs> this weekend, so it's all yours. Thank well. God, I have a three-day weekend. Like so she'll need a lot. Let's take a look around. I have a lot of things to do, like sit on my couch for 12 hours and play Tears of the Kingdom. Um, nah, I, uh, I, I had a lot of fun playing with Sai and our other friend, uh, 
with um with the D4 beta. Like it's it's really good. I can't deny. Um it takes a lot of it's not better than Diablo 2 in my opinion, but it takes a lot of the good elements from Diablo 2 and mixes them with the good elements of Diablo 3. Um the only thing that gives me concern is Blizzard being such a shit company nowadays. Um like, you know, yes, they're also bad human rights company, too. Like, I'm, I'm not going to gloss over that. But, uh, like, not human rights company, but they've done, they've done a really, a lot of really shitty moral things. Let's just put it that way, right? Everyone knows about all that. I'm not trying to gloss over that. But, uh, I had a lot of fun with D4. Like say that. I'm not gonna stream D4 though. White grub tub can only found deep underground. You need to find six. You should check, check out a huge stone. Well, that you walked past. Me. Right. Oh, oh yeah, and then never mind the whole uh, Overwatch 2 debacle. That was stupid. That. I don't, I don't play Overwatch. I haven't played Overwatch in a long time. And I don't play Overwatch 2. But that pissed me off just on principle. Okay, Tricky. You stay here. I'll go search down there. But I need to help my mom. And you will be by staying out there. Okay, Fox, but hurry up. My mom looked real bad. The only Blizzard bad. game I care about is SC2. I... I think I've said this before. I can't play RTSs. I'm too stupid. Like I, <laughs> I love playing Civilization. Um, like I, I can get real stuck into some Civ Six. Um, but I'm, I'm bad at it. Not to defend a Blizzard, but I didn't realize everyone was looking forward to single player. Yeah. <clears throat> I, for a while there, I, I forgot that Overwatch 2 even promised that. Um, eh, but yeah, like a lot of people come out, came out once they, when they announced that they weren't going to be doing a single player aspect of Overwatch 2. Like a lot of people actually came out and said like, no, actually I was really looking forward to that. You know? Um, the lore would make a great story. It really would. I don't understand. I think, like, and a lot of people, just because Blizzard has been, a, like, a really bad faith company lately, um, with their microtransactions and all their other bullshit, like, people are thinking that they just promised Overwatch 2 single player as a way to try to justify... Um, scrapping Overwatch 1. And when they cancelled Overwatch 2 single player, everyone was just like, oh, okay, so they never... Like, pe that made people think that they never intended to do a first... A, a single player campaign to begin with, and they were just using it as a selling point to try to get people into it. Um, and, uh, so, like, that's... Uh, that is a lot. why a lot of people... Well, one reason why a lot of people are pissed off about Overwatch 2... Uh, single player being scrapped because they they just don't they never they they figured Blizzard never intended to do it in the first place. which wouldn't surprise me in, in the slightest if that was actually the case right I would not be surprised They piggybacked off the excitement for their PvE mode and launched the same game, but with a paid for skins model. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I... I think if you're going to have microtransactions in a video game, having cosmetic only be, uh, being what you pay for is a really good model. If you have to... If you have to do paid, like, uh, microtransaction... Cosmetic is the way to go. They add no benefit to the game. Someone who spends zero dollars can have the same 
the same experience as someone who pays two thousand dollars, right? Um, but <clears throat> but it just comes off as greedy when you do it the way Blizzard does it. Like Sea of Thieves, I fucking love Sea of Thieves, dude. I adore that game, and they do microtransactions with cosmetics, but it's purely cosmetic. There's no benefit to spending any real additional money for that game. Um, but, but then you have Overwatch 2, which does have, you know, microtransactions for cosmetics, but the way I understand it is that they locked all of their cosmetics from Overwatch 1 that a lot of people have already gotten from Overwatch 1 behind a paywall. So even if you had Overwatch 1 before and you had all these skins, you still have to pay for them again. They didn't lock them? Oh, okay. New heroes are locked behind the bottle battle pass. Oh, okay. Everything you had in Overwatch 1 was unlocked. Oh, right. It's the new... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the new people locked behind battle pass. Right. Which is pay to win. Yeah, that's like... Because they're different classes. They have different... Um, they have different functions. They have different perks. They Like, that's... Ugh. Yeah, it's just, just, it's just fucking messy. I don't like it. The metaverse effect, they have all the money in the world, but they're managed like garbage. Yeah. It sets a bad tone for future games. Exactly. Which is why Psy had, has reservations about, um, uh, Diablo 4. Justifiably. Him and I have talked about this at length, about, you know, the monetization efforts of Diablo 4, because Blizzard being a shit company that it is nowadays, what's stopping them from locking a whole bunch of game mechanics behind a paywall? Um, now, that doesn't... I, I'm not counting uh, classes as DLC. That's fine. Because it's not, it's not really a competitive game. If you want to add a new, if you want, if they, if they decide to develop a new class for Diablo 4 and put it on with some DLC, as like, it, with some additional story elements, like they did for Diablo 4 and their Necromancer, um, fine, right? That's kind of the nature of the thing. That's how it was with Diablo 2. You know, um, so that's nothing new. That's that's a little less scummy, right? Um, but, like, if if the only way to get, like, endgame shit, a gear that actually makes a difference besides cosmetic, is, is to pay for it, then that's where we're going to have a problem. Right now, and I looked this up, and again, I'm not defending Blizzard, but what makes me feel a little better about the monetization efforts behind Diablo 4 is that right now, they swear that they're, that the... The microtransactions are purely cosmetic and will add no benefit to anyone who buys the co buys the cosmetic gear. Um, but beyond just being cosmetic, they they have gone on record saying they have no plans to do pay to win model. But they can always rescind that. You know, they had they they promised that they would. Oops, I did not mean to do that. They promised that they would do single-player campaign for Overwatch 2, so you know, <laughs> you see, you see how that went, right? <laughs> hey, Punk Moogle. Well, I know who you are. Um, you're under a different name, but I know who you are. Fifty years alone I've been thinking of entering the Lord Sanctum without a lantern to light your way. You must be as mad as me! Go and see the shopkeeper! He should be able to help at the right price! <laughs> okay, that's what he said. I missed what he said because I was too busy talking. Yeah, so, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic about Diablo 4, like Psy is. 
Um, because I, I really liked the beta. I liked a lot of the mechanics. The skills feel weighty and powerful. Like, it feels like they actually tried to put some effort into it, and I think they have different development teams than Overwatch. Um, there might be some overlap um, between the two. Um, clearly, I don't know jack shit about Overwatch 2, because I was, like, I was wrong about the um, Overwatch 1 stuff being locked behind a paywall. But, um... But, uh, which, thank you for calling me out on that, Sai. Uh, I appreciate you, because I don't want to, I don't want to be spreading misinformation, even if it is about a shit company like Blizzard, you know? <laughs> if I'm gonna shit talk something, I want to be factual about it, you know what I mean? Uh, it's true, players are not having it anymore, the reputation is on the toilet right now, and they, yeah, they really have to recover from Immortal. Yeah, I, I tried to play Diablo Immortal, um, because I'm always looking for shit to do on my downtime at work. Um, that doesn't involve getting on my, uh, I lost track of what I was doing. That doesn't involve doing it on my work computer. Um, and I hated it. Diablo Immortal sucks, dude. It's so bad. Diablo Immortal made over $300 million. Yeah, it's the whales. That's what, that's what they call them, right? People who uh, throw, just have a shit ton of money to just throw out at mobile games. They call them whales. Which is funny, because, um, like, the, the mobile game market that, you know, really latches onto that, um, one of the biggest markets is, like, the Chinese market. Like, mobile games are huge in China. Huge. Especially with, like, microtransactions. And it's banned in China. Like, you can't play Diablo Immortal in China. <laughs> Mobile games are really big in SEA. Yeah, yeah. It's like one of the biggest markets for mobile games. So, like, they, they made a game that was, like, catered to that mobile game market, and the largest demographic for that market can't even play it. At least legally. I'm sure there's ways around it with VPNs and stuff, right? But... Meanwhile, I support Honkai Genshin because the studio took Tencent to heck off. Hey, man. We love, we love telling Tencent where to shove it. Every now and again, China makes a decision that's not disagreeable. Yeah. Exactly. Do I have... Do I have uh, fireflies? Don't, but I don't think I have enough scarabs to. Can I go into the scarab room and see what that's about? How about playing a little game? Choose how many scarabs you wish to gamble. I will okay. then throw them into this cave, and you have to collect them with a. You're worried about Genshin. My buddy got addicted and spent over five thousand dollars. He didn't know he was gambling addict until after that. Oh wow. Well, I mean, at least he realized it. I mean, it sucks that it took 5,000. Oops. It sucks that it took him $5,000 to, to determine that, but he learned something about his himself that he can now work to make better. If you want to try to find the bright side of that shitty situation. An attic for it, yeah. Sometimes that's what it takes, unfortunately. Hey, what the hell? 
Seems to prey on people like him and it's a bit disgusting. Yeah. I don't... The only thing I've... The like only, like, mobile game that I've paid for was uh, Mario Kart Tour for their Gold Pass one time. Because I was curious about what it did. And it was, like, five bucks. Actually, like, speaking of... Like, we're, we're talking about mobile games. I actually like uh, Mario Kart Tour. Um, it's, it's not a very good Mario Kart game. And... Uh, it is, like, pay to win if you want to really get good at it, but you don't have to. Like, I, I, like I said, I've five bucks, right? Um, and that's it. But I feel like I've, I've gotten pretty decent at it. Um, that being said, uh, I wish it didn't exist. <laughs> I feel like that game is making Nintendo lazy when it comes to Mario Kart. Because with this Mario Kart booster booster course pass, as uh, thankful as I am for more Mario Kart 8 content, it's just recycled content depends from Mario Kart 4. I feel like if it weren't for that, we may have already gotten another Mario Kart game, like Mario Kart 9 or something. Though I think Mario Kart 9 is in development, if I'm not mistaken. So there's at least that. Um, I need scarabs. Mario Kart's Dragon. Yeah, it's it's like a thing. Like, it's Mario Kart Tour that's doing it. It's weird. I, I don't like it, and I hope it stops. Like, people are saying Mario Kart Tour is not going to be around for a long time, and Miyamoto, in a recent interview, did say that they were kind of shifting away from their mobile game market. Um, which is good. I just don't know how true that is. You know what I mean? Um... I haven't even bought the booster course pack for Mario Kart yet. Um, I probably will when it all comes out so I can get, so I can play it single player. I've been playing the booster courses on multiplayer though, which is a really cool move by Nintendo, by the way, to let people who don't own the booster course pass still play the courses on online so long as someone in one in, in the lobby has it. That That's a really cool move. I'll give them credit for that. Uh, luckily your addiction is sugar and you don't have diabetes, so you're doing well. Yeah, same so far. Knock on wood, right? <laughs> um, your addiction, <laughs> everyday idiot's addiction is pasta. That's relevant. I just made some really good chicken pesto for, for my uh, work lunch. I've been trying to get into work because I, I have a very short lunch for work because I'm not salaried or anything. So, I don't have a lot of time to, like, sit in front of a microwave and reheat my dinner for my lunch. So, I've been trying to think of different meals I can make that don't require them to be reheated. And I found one that's, like, this really good chicken pesto pasta. I've been eating that the last couple of days. I, I like it. I uh, find it funny how the Retro Booster Course Pass is being used to show the race courses they couldn't show people before because people didn't like the game. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like a lot of what people are saying right now is that what Booster Course is because they... I think people think that Nintendo knows that Mario Kart Tour is not going to be around for forever. Fingers crossed, right? So they're using this Booster Course Pass to basically immortalize the Mario Kart Tour courses on a modern, like, a high-definition console um, instead of letting them die on the mobile game platform. You know what I mean? Which would kind of make sense. I just wish we would get with this DLC, I wish we would get courses specifically tailored for Mario Kart 8 using the um, anti-gravity mechanics. Because I really love those. Uh, I know, like, when you're actually racing on courses, you you can't really tell that you're... Um, 
on an anti-gravity portion of the course, but conceptually, I just think it's really cool. I like it. And the booster course pass tracks don't really use that to its advantage um, because they're either ported from Mario Kart Tour or are being made with the intention to port them to Mario Kart Tour. And Mario Kart Tour doesn't have anti-gravity. I got hella sidetracked. Whoa. Was it just me or did my HUD? Yeah, my HUD just glitched out. That must have been a capture card thing. They did just recently get rid of the, um the gambling mechanic in Mario Kart Tour. So you, in, like, in order to get the cosmetic, like, you have to, you can either just get the cosmetics through grinding on the game, or you can pay real money to get the in-game currency to buy the cosmetics. Used to, you, the only way, one of the only ways to get the cosmetics was by buying, like, Basically, their their gotcha mechanic or their their gambling mechanic, in order to try your hand at getting better things. Where are the fireflies? You pay this much. Okay, I'll sell it to you. So that's an upside. At least. Buy another. I'll buy another. You pay this much. Okay, I'll sell it to you. Also, I'm salty because my two favorite courses from Double Dash, being Wario Coliseum and Rainbow Road, have yet to be remade for any of the modern Mario Kart games. I can love those courses and I want to play them again on a, like a modern system. And of course, I could play, I could pop it into my Wii and play it on stream if I wanted to. Hell, I did, you know, with Becca. But I, uh, I want to be able to play it in high definition with the admittedly really good graphics of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Speaking of games, like, games that run really well. I think I think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe runs at 30 frames if you're playing with multiplayer. But uh it it runs at a very smooth 60 frames per second if you're in single player. It looks really nice. I love Mario Kart 8. I feel like with Zelda, Splatoon, and Animal Crossing characters, there Nintendo secretly wants Smash Bros. karting. Dude, it needs to happen. I, I feel like I've said this, talked about this before on stream, but I want there to be a version of Mario Kart. Damn, I keep doing that by accident. Because because the A button is the talk button, but also the attack ah, button. To light your way. Anyways, um, yes, good. Good, good. They, they really just need to make a... Uh, a, a Mario Kart ult with like, like forget all this like oh what what course are they going to make like remake you know just get all that guesswork out and remake every single course from every Mario Kart period. Let's do it. Just get it over with. Bring back all the characters from previous Mario Karts. 
hell, I mean, most of the most of the retro courses have already been redesigned in HD by now. You know, there's only missing a few courses from each of the retro game. Just port it all into one giant game. It'd be awesome. But then you would run into the issue that Smash Bros. is going to run into when it comes to making a new Smash Brothers game. Like, what are they gonna do? Smash Brothers Ultimate was quite literally the ultimate Smash Brothers game. Where do you go from there? Obviously, they're gonna have to make cuts to characters, because they can't... I mean, at least in in theory, can't feasibly get the rights to some of the characters they have in Smash Ultimate again, unless there's some weird kind of agreement that they made when first getting characters in for DLC and stuff. Which is entirely possible, but... Um, like, stuff like Cloud and Sephiroth and uh, Sora. I, I could see characters like Minecraft Steve and Banjo coming back. Because Microsoft and Nintendo kind of love each other right now. Um... I think, I mean, of, of the two, if they, if you had to pick one or the other, of the two, Banjo would be more, ob more uh, obvious, because Minecraft, I don't know, I, I'm biased, I don't, I don't care too much for Steve in Smash Brothers. Banjo fits Smash Brothers better than Steve does, in my opinion, I know a lot of people will disagree, and I feel like it's a generational thing. Um... Game generation, not like age generation. Because there are a lot of people who play Smash now that grew up more with Steve than they did with Banjo. Um, I wonder how someone would expand on Smash. Yeah. Typically, they wait for new system before Smash Bros. returns. I think with newer, flashier graphics, people will be less upset about cuts. Yeah, and I'll be I'll be less upset about cuts if they bring back a proper adventure mode. I they tried with Tears of uh or um what was it uh something of light the 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 like little mock adventure mode they had for Smash Bros. Ultimate. They tried, but. They, it felt lackluster to me. I want, I want a proper adventure mode. Um, so that would make me less upset about the cuts. I just really don't want Banjo to be cut from the game. <laughs> one, he's 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 one of my mains, and uh, two, I wanted him in Smash Brothers since Melee, World of Light. Thank you. That's what it was. So I quite literally shed a tear when Banjo got announced for Smash. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Uh, it was one of the happiest video game moments of my life. Uh, is it kind of pathetic to admit that? Maybe, depending on who you ask. But I don't care. Um... Uh, so, if... It, I, I wouldn't say that it's bullshit that, Nintendo, that Banjo wouldn't make it back into Smash. But at the same time, being from a compete, technically a competing game developer, would I wouldn't be too surprised if he didn't come back. As much as I want it to happen. You know what I mean? Hey, we all have our favorites. Yeah, exactly. Did I get all six of those white things? Yes, I did. Very excited for Mega Man. Mega Man is also just a really good character. Like, uh, in Slink Smash. I didn't have a lot of nostalgia for Mac Pac uh, Pac Man. Mega Man or for Pac Man, really, but. Um, but I'm glad both of them, for that matter, are in the game. I think they add a lot to the game. Um, Banjo, I feel, and again, maybe I'm biased, but. adds a lot. To, ben, or to Smash Brothers. He feels like he was an OG... He feels like he was designed to be like an OG Smash character. You know, like a lot of the DLC characters have their own like weird gimmick, right? Banjo feels more 
back to roots. Um, classic Smash Brothers feel. Um, so I, I really love, like, um, you know, nostalgia aside, I love the way he feels. I love the way he controls, the way he feels, the, his, his moves, they work. I, I, I love it. Could th I wish they could have done a little bit different um, with his with some of his moveset, but the way it is now, I, I like it. Uh, peeps and poops, it's time for bed. Okay, man. Have a good evening. Thank you for so much for watching. We'll see you around again. Uh, if you were excited for Mega Man, then we were pointing at everyone saying, "I told you so." When they announced Ridley, yeah, I was I was happy for the Ridley group when Ridley got announced. I never had a horse in that race because I didn't really give it too much of a damn. As much as I liked Samus and the Metroid series, I didn't really care that much if Ridley got in or not. But I was happy for people when he did. And his his reveal trailer was really fucking cool. Um, thank you, Riffy, for the welcome back. Um, Banjo is one of the best characters in general. Highly agree. Um, Riffy, thank you so much for the gift sub. Um, you enjoy those emails, Carl. Um, rented Banjo Kazooie from movie gallery as a kid, and my God, did that game blow my mind? Absolutely, dude. Has does it hold up as well nowadays? Nah. Would I would I love the I gotta I, I ask myself this sometimes and I'm I'm kinda getting I'm kinda winding down the stream. I feel like this is a pretty well here. Let's go let's go give these mushrooms to the queen. Um Yeah, the stream stream's okay. I don't know what uh what issues you got going on. Wait for me! Hope that they I hope they get resolved though. Um Kind of winding down the stream, anyways, though. Uh, but we'll, re we'll revive the queen. Fox, what are you playing at? Mom needs the mushrooms. Uh, what was I saying? Shit, I lost my, I lost my train of thought. Thank you, Fox. Uh, let's see here. Thank you for saving Yeah. My so I have to ask myself this sometimes. Me. Okay. Like, okay, would I, would I thanks. still love Banjo Kazooie? No, I need some help as much if I had played it for the very first this time today as I did when I played it back he in 1998, right? Would I still love the game as much as I did? I don't know. I, I honestly cannot tell you whether or not I would. But this time he somehow um, stronger and like, it's a good platformer, but it's not the best, right? right. Just objectively right. speaking. But how did the planet get um, in such well, a mess? For its time, it was Within one of the, the best. Palace, he broke the seals of the Force Point temples. I'm listening. This planet is rich with a magical force. A force I'm, I'm so strong the, that it is continually pushing off world apart. I realize I'm just talking over her. To stop this, four spellstones were placed inside the Force Point temples. Uh, okay, that's a bit weird, but I understand. With the seals broken, scales entered the temples and removed the spell stones. With nothing to hold back, the magic. Morrowind was such a great, was a special was thing for me, but I wouldn't like it if I played it today for the first time. Last, yeah, exactly. Like that's kind of what I'm sense. saying, you know. So, the um, bad guy takes the spell Then again, your I feel like if it weren't for games like Banjo Kazooie and, and like Super Mario 64, See, I wouldn't. I told you he was good. I wouldn't be such Star a Fox, yeah. nerd for. My platform, do you know what I mean? With you. So I don't know, it's kind of so like a weird, a almost time no travel paradox level question, right? The spell stones. What? Uh, that's okay, but don't you think he's a bit young? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be very dangerous. Loads of bad guys. Going fighting, in between talking over death. the cutscenes. He knows the planet well, and I'm sure he's showing you his to side <laughs> skills. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Come on, Fox. We'll make a great team. Okay, but if you mess up just once, I'll send you straight back to mommy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good. Man, now, the, our spies have the, indicated the line delivery for these voice actors are good, lines. but the voices the themselves are not great. <laughs> silly fellow, but he can guide you to the spellstone. Go back to the Snowhorn Wastes and find him. Got it. And Fox... I think you'll need this. The sharp claws dropped it when they attacked me. Speaking Maybe of age game design, these cutscenes feel really okay, antiquated. They already. really do. Can I just get on with it? Uh, this this item get cutscene just always makes me laugh. 
it's so Legend of Zelda. Robot on Wheels is one of the best platforms with physics there is. Dude, like, I can't believe I slept on that when I was a kid. I never even heard of it before doing my deep dive in the S64 library. And I'm really glad you and Carl, like, got me to play the rest of it, because it was a really, really good game. Like, holy crap. Fine. An N64 game that was a competent platformer and had a fully fledged physics system. That that's insane. Yeah, that was a, it was a great game. So, you know, I'm, that's that's the reason I do that's what that's one of the reasons why I did the N64 deep dive is because I knew there were a lot of really good games I had never played. Um and that's partially why I'm doing it now for the GameCube, because I know there are a lot of game games that are really hit old classics that I've never played. Eternal Darkness, for example, I had never played that before I played it on stream, and I loved it. Fantastic game. Respect BK, I had one and two and 100% them both. Mario 64 is my champion of that time. I I get that and I respect that, but I, I prefer Banjo-Kazooie over Super Mario 64. I know that's a hot take for some, but I don't know, I like the vibe more, and I feel like it controls a little bit better. Let's be honest, was it Scorn that made you quit streaming? <laughs> oh man, that game was weird, dude. That, that was such a weird game. Uh, I didn't hate that game. Like, truth be told. Um... But man, was it weird. I'm really glad I didn't spend money on it. Um, speaking of which, we're going to end the stream here. Um, I'm not done talking yet. I'll finish this thought. Your last memory of me was playing score, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't my last stream. Um, that was not my last stream since I played last. I think one of the last games I played on stream was either Eternal... It was like a... It wasn't even Eternal Darkness. It was, it, was, it was like a marathon I did of GameCube games. Um, before coming back today. But, uh, you missed it? Yeah, um, I'll have, I'll have uh, my GameCube VODs uploaded to my YouTube as well. Uh, eventually. I have them all saved. They're still on my computer. They're still in good condition. Like, it's all good. Um... You missed the streams, yeah. Um. Oh, thanks, thanks, everyday idiot. I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm back. Um, I've been looking forward to this. Um. Googling Scorn is trippy, dude. Scorn is a trippy game. It's, it's a really, really, visually compelling game, but the gameplay sucked. Like, quite frankly, it, it the gameplay was awful. And the ending was very anticlimactic. Um, didn't like it. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad I didn't spend money on it, but at the same time, in a weird way, I'm glad I played it. And by by not spending money on it, by the way, for any legal people, legal people's scoping me out, I played it on Game Pass. I didn't pirate it. Um, it looked cool, but it sucked. Yeah, exactly. Game Pass, hell yeah, dude. Game Pass is an awesome deal, by the way. It's how I've been able to play so many other games. Totally legal stream. Absolutely. Um, yeah, weird. On the up and up. Absolute, absolutely. Uh, so, that being said, speaking of Game Pass, actually, um, on Thursday, so I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Uh, stream, stream schedule going forward, I mentioned this in my Discord, um, is... Uh, Stream, stream schedule going forward is going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, 
Gonna be starting streams roughly around six, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, roughly um, thereabouts. I started early today because I got stream start. That's that's how it's gonna be. You know what I mean? That's why I say roughly. If I get the stream started early, I'll start early. If I get it started a little late, I may start a little late. It just kind of depends on how my afternoon goes, right? Um, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, I know it's a lot less than what I did previously, but I think that's going to help me not have another uh, seven-month-long hiatus, if you catch my drift. Um, that being said, Thursday is not going to be more Star Fox Adventures. It's actually... I, I This is not my last Star Fox Adventure stream, by the way. I'm, I intend to play this game all the way through. But uh, I will be streaming uh, Hi-Fi Rush. It's a game that's been on the Game Pass. It was made by the same developers of Evil Within. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a rhythm platforming adventure beat em up game. Um, I played a little, I played up to the first boss of it off stream until I realized, er, um, not until I realized, I had, already, I, had, I had plans to play it on stream a long time ago, but I played up to the first boss to see what the game was like. Um, and I really loved it. And I'm excited to play it on stream. Um, it does have licensed game, it has licensed music in it. So I will not be uh, I will not be keep saving a vod of the stream just for because I don't want my I don't want it to be taken down for copyright. But so there will not be a uh, vod of the stream to watch afterwards like there is today. But that's kind of the nature of the of the situation, right? So I'll be playing Hi-Fi Rush on Thursday. Uh, it's a lot of fun. If you've not seen anything of it, I recommend looking it up. Um, playing, playing it for yourself if you have Xbox Game Pass. Or even just buying it. It's only 30 bucks, right? Pretty cheap. It's either 30 or $40. Really cheap compared to some of the games out there right now. Uh, let me finish up these chats and then... Um, easier to catch if you're not as constant. I like that you're streaming on the tees. Yeah, I do too. I feel like it's a little bit more responsible with my... Um, with my work schedule and personal life. Uh, wish more companies game passed. Cough, Nintendo, cough, cough. Yeah, exactly. I know. Nintendo would really benefit from a game pass sort of thing. God would, like, they would make a killing. Um, but especially for retro. Like, they don't even have to do what Xbox is doing for, like, modern games. Do it for retro games, right? They don't even have to do an exact one to one copy of Xbox's game pass. If they just did it just for retro games. That'd be awesome. I guess they're technically already doing that though, with uh, with their X, uh, Nintendo Switch Online Plus or whatever. I don't know. Nintendo loves doing scarcity. I hate that. Yeah, they really love manufacturing scarcity. They did it by accident with the Nintendo Wii, and because that sold like hotcakes, they feel like that's the constant trend that they need to keep doing, which is stupid, but. Whatever. Uh, that being said, I still have a sealed copy of uh, Super Mario uh, 3D All-Stars for the Switch. I bought it with an intention of playing it, but I never opened it. Like, I didn't buy it with the intention of scalping it or keeping it sealed or anything. I just never, I just haven't bothered to open it and play it. So At this point, why not just keep it sealed, right? I had a friend like that. To my to my knowledge, even still today, he still has a sealed copy of Super Mario Galaxy 2. For the same situation, he bought it with an intention of playing it, and never never got around to actually playing it and opening it up. So, last I heard of it, he still has it sealed. It's really funny. Anyways, um, that's gonna be it for tonight for the stream. My voice uh, hurts because I haven't talked for three hours straight in a long time. <laughs> That's my retirement plan now. Exactly. I'm going to go off retirement just off of a single video game. Honestly, that's not even impossible nowadays. <laughs> Alright, guys. See you all Thursday with Hi-Fi Rush. It's been a trip. Glad I'm back. <laughs>